And we are back live here in Salt Lake City at the Sports Mall as we have Luis Cordoba versus Abraham Montijo. My you name don't is sound Davis. excited enough about this, Dave. This is one of the most exciting, intriguing qualifier matchups that we've had thus far in the season. This has been a one-sided rivalry dominated by Abraham Montijo, believe it or not, despite Abraham being ranked 19th and Luis Cordova being ranked 10th. Well, Luis has never beat Abraham. Wasn't sounding exciting because I, I hear music in my headphones. Well, that kind of pumps me thing. up. I've been you doing like a little it? dance here okay. in my seat. I feel like Tom Brokaw is going to jump mm. in at any moment. I call this the Gene Casimoto match because she will be busy here in this match, Dave. I predict we will have over 15 30-shot rallies in this match. We've already had two. We do not have court sounds and we cannot hear the referee's microphone through our headsets, but we're working on that audio right now as we troubleshoot getting this match on the air. It's the Billy Gertz bracket. He's a local soon to be Hall of Famer, which will be inducted Saturday night. Luis Cordova wearing the blue shirt and Abraham Montijo wearing the red. And I believe Abe actually owns the Lifetime series against these two, but Luis Cordova is on a tear as of late, Mr. Fink. Well, that's true. As we talked about in the opening, Luis Cordova never defeating Abraham Montijo. They haven't played in two years. This is a big match for both guys. Remember, if Abe Montijo loses this match, Dave, he drops off the rankings. He'll be ranked the same as you which is NR, not ranked. Mm -hmm. And Luis Cordova will continue climbing into that top 10, potentially staking his claim for a spot in Seattle. So a lot riding on this so match. So if Abe and I enter a tournament, if he loses here, mm -hmm. I could get a better seat you could. on a flip of a coin. It's possible. Love how this works. There's a dig right there from Luis Cordova. And Abraham Montijo pushes it down the right wall and then misses that. Left corner kill, and you see that a lot from Abe. Well, you see Abe stands straight up with that left hand and faces the front wall with his shoulders, and that's why he comes up about six inches short on the majority of those left-hand kill shot attempts. Love that shot from Luis Cordova. As you see him spike the ball inside out down the right wall. Very effective play. Score here is four to one. I know you cannot hear the referee's microphone. We apologize for that. There is a slight audio error here in this facility that we're trying to work out a little bug a lot of people Dave talking here at the club also at breakfast and online about that Abe Montijo Scotty Moeller opening round match that's a dark match we call those dark because those are not broadcasted but we thought those were gonna that that was gonna be a really close match but Abe dismantled Scotty Moeller didn't look that good doing it though Scotty Moeller just Really looked anxious in there today, but Abe Montillo advanced with a 25-5 dark match win. Well, there was another dark match on the other side with Luis Cordoba defeating Armando Abera. That score was 25-2. to two. So both of these players on a collision course, both playing sharp in their opening rounds. Well, this is the match I had double circled on my draw sheet. Look at that get right there from Cordova and an underhand push from Abe Montijo who's getting over that Fresno flu. This is such a deep qualifier, Dave, that I actually have all the finals circled, but this one I have circled twice. So does that mean that it's more exciting? I'm not sure. I don't know what it means either. We have two line judges, referee. We can't hear his microphone yet but we're working on and also cannot hear the court sounds so when the ball bounces it's no sound coming through our head so maybe it actually exists but we can't hear it and that's okay we're working on it i expect a very close match here not sure about that call but luis cordova jumped out to a 4-1 lead i think that'll be about the biggest difference between these guys in this entire match I don't see either guy building more than a three-point lead all the way up until the Point. conclusion. Amazing serve. Three plays four. Abe Montijo. Now you can hear the score, three to four. Abraham Montijo now tied at four. A beautiful reverse serve down. Together at four. The pace really kind of quick here, Dave. Server gets in there to serve. Referee calls it pretty quick, and these guys are back on 
the lamb. That's the second inside out winner that Luis Cordova is hitting Together hit the four. inside out spike kill and that time was the inside out paddle kill. When you're looking at the strengths and weaknesses of both these guys, Dave, it's Abe Montillo with a far better serve. He's also got a better left hand than Luis Cordova, but Luis Cordova has much better offense and a lot more power with his right hand. So oh. you heard the crowd groan there, Dave, but it really it's a very even matchup. Together both guys at four. are strong in, in what they Five, do well. Four. And both guys have a couple of weaknesses that sort of keep them out of that top eight for now. And that's that amazing right hand from Luis Cordova. Certainly, Dave, one of the best on the tour right now. 6-4. <coughs> one of Luis Cordova's strengths is the fact that he can run down pretty much any ball that's hit, Dave. And Remember, you can see David. it right here. He always gets a hand on a ball. Not a good shot there from Abe. And there's a good left hand kill from Abe. He steps in. It didn't look great, but he had his weight going forward there, and he bent Four, his knees six. just enough to be effective. Short ball. Second serve. That nice little reverse right there from Abraham Montijo, that ball feathering back. I thought that might have been caught a screen, but High it wasn't. Six. No complaint there from and Luis that, Cordova. That's kind of the problem with a guy that can hop the ball because the referee sees the hop and doesn't recognize that the screen happens before the hop. They always see, oh, that hop, that ball hopped out to the right, so therefore he was able six to see. Six plays six. Really, when the ball's too late. Six to six score here. Abe is winning the majority of the short rallies here. Abe, also known as a rallier, Six plays six. Like his opponent here today, Luis Cordova, but Abe has hit three aces and also executed the first strike two times for five of his six points. <coughs> this is a big setup for Abraham Montijo. Goes with more power, misses his kill shot, and because of hitting that closer to Luis Cordova, gets that hand air. Did Abe just serve that? Six, six. We are here in Salt Lake City, Dave, which I believe is about 4,500 feet above sea level. The air is very thin here. I did a little bit of sparring earlier today. Six, and six. I certainly felt it. Very difficult to adjust to this altitude, I think. Abe may have a, a little bit of an advantage, Dave, training in Tucson where there's some altitude, thinner air. 2,817 at the Tucson Racquet Club in feet but here it's 4,327 so I was off by a combined 150 feet just off the top of my head now not I'm not gonna enough. brag but not good enough okay. six six sorry I wish it was better I'd love to give you a better report but not gonna get one here I have a little friend that told me her name is Google hold on I'm gonna do it over Interesting way to call a hinder. The teen heartthrob is our referee, Dave. He disappointed a lot of girls here today that came out to Kay. watch him. A lot of them I'm didn't get a redo. chance to get here until what would have been his finals, but he won't be playing it. Solving it. Abraham's asking for an avoidable hinder here, not to mess up your speech about THH, but actually TCH. Six plays six. Six six. Six six. 
Six plays six. Great volley, guys. Good volley, guys. In all for a side out. Five shots there, David. This is 4,600 plus foot elevation. It's your first 6-6 six, six when we come back. One minute. Remember, Abe has struggled in this position again. You've seen that numerous events, including the HBC okay? Tour last year, where he cramped up badly against Carlos Chavez. He did prevail, though, but you wonder if I know, not even to gain a point. Factor. That's the worst. That's going to favor Luis yeah, Cordova. That's the worst, man. The guy seems like he can just play forever. <laughs> That's the worst when you like start a game with a rally like that and you're like, dude, it was the first point of the game. Really, come on, we can't be doing this all day. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. TTH actually bumped out Time. of Four, the dinner three, two, one. Yeah. Take first round qualifiers to the Cheesecake Factory. That's just how it works <laughs> on the tour. Now I can hear you a little bit through my headset. Mm. Play resume six, play six. Score is six to six. Not a good shot there from Abe. Green ball, hinder ball. Learn to make those gets and re kills rather than just throwing the ball back up. His game is going to go a bit about two levels. Six plays six. Nice volley, guys. Seven plays six. Does your lady friend miss Google? They have an update on timeout. It's your first one minute, eight six when we resume. Abe serves. <laughs> I agree with that. I like that. <laughs> Aren't you kidding? All of a sudden, it just went rally, 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 rally. Shoot the ball. <laughs> I bet you they have. I know. Twenty seconds. Hey, 
Minutes up. I agree with you. I think it will definitely be everybody, particularly the guys that don't train it out. All right, here we go. Play resumes. Eight, play six. Six plays eight. Seven to two scoring streak. Not a good looking shot there from Abe. Look Seven like plays there. eight. And that's consecutive back wall misses. Sorry, Dave. With the left hand from eight plays eight. Abraham, Again, yeah, ten minutes. Ten minutes before someone scores the next point. Hinder ball. Eight plays eight. Tender ball. Luis, two. I called a hinder. Oh yeah, what's up? He was right. He was right behind you. Together at eight. Oh, hold on. I, he's been getting everything. You can't take that away from him. Eight plays eight. Great volley, guys. Very nice. Absolutely unbelievable rally. We've talked so much, Dave, about the getability of Luis Cordova, but that time it was Abe with nine plays eight. Gets in a row, and Luis Cordova ends the rally. Short. So it's short. With the left hand. Short ball. You disagree? Oh, you agree? Both agree. Don't go off the bat. Go off the I like that serve from Luis yeah. Cordova. The soft inside out. Fake down the No, you're right. okay. Short ball. Both agreed. Nine plays eight. Beautiful shot there from Luis Cordova. Ten plays eight. Luis Cordova will be looking for that second win. I think he'll get it. As you know, Dave, a lot of times in these high pressure matches, you find yourself exhausted ten minutes into the match because you just you've got all that anxiety and nerves. And then you just sort of get that second win after you calm down. I think that'll happen here for Luis Cordova. He's playing really good handball right now. I'm trying to let him play as much as possible. He got to. Especially the way they're playing. Yeah, I, was, I agree with you. <laughs> 11 plays 8. And now it's Luis Cordova taking charge here after losing 7 of 9 points. <laughs> Very big crowd on here, Dave, for a Thursday afternoon. And don't forget, Abe Montillo is a huge crowd favorite here in Salt Lake City, Dave. He's been to this event two consecutive years, and the locals really like Abraham's style. 
Time out to second, 12-8. When we resume, second Luis serves. Already for Abraham Montillo, which means we'll have just halftime and one more reprieve to stop this, the action. I think both of these players know that they were going to go for a battle here on this show prior to this match. Don't mind me, I'm going to sit back for a second. This qualifier match like it is a round of eight in the top 12. Hello. Hello. Uh, you can hear me. By a little bit of gamesmanship, we're trying to slow the game down, take this time out. Never see Cordova take the time out. Those two with the right arm. See Abraham Montillo taking them either, but they're just trying to play this real championship match. Twenty seconds. I think these guys are truly exhausted, looking for every opportunity to try and catch their breath. Abe is coming off a huge win at the Twelve death event. Plays Montana eight. Montana where he defeated Jeremy Morgan and Jay Balkenbush. And he's coming in with a lot of confidence. Luis Cordova also coming in with a lot of confidence. Having advanced to the quarterfinals of the last race grade pro stop in Atlanta, defeating Tommy Little for the second time this season. Getting a little ahead of ourselves here, Dave, but Luis Cordova, should he win here, could not face Tommy Little in the first round, even if he drew his name in the blind draw. Oh. Oh. That was a strange shot. Cordova saw Montijo so far up. 13 plays eight. Hit that crack and I'd call it a crease. Okay. It's a crease. And Abe Montijo just totally exhausted right now. You can see his shot selection has changed. The first thing to go, Dave, when 14 you plays eight. your shot selection. <laughs> Luis Cordova can learn to kill that shot. I'm going to call it point 15 half. I'm not sure I like the handshake. Three minutes. The half time. I d I, I'll say that I don't like it. I, I love it. Mm. I okay. love it because the players have accepted halftime as, as something that they like and look forward to, well, and therefore, to me, it, 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 it shows acceptance. Well, don't get me wrong. I, I love halftime, but I don't see Tom Brady and Peyton Manning slapping hands at the end of a half, maybe well, at the end of a game. Not, they're not on the field at the same time. Well, well okay, I don't, I don't see Tom Brady and Yurimura slapping their hands going into the half. Well, they would if they had to cross paths. They do. Sometimes Tom Brady has a cross, and... Headsets and not hearing ourselves talk, but we do hear our engineer in the band, Linda Manning. Hello, Linda. I know that she's working on the audio. I heard myself there for a brief moment. So, Linda, feel free to give us commands back here in Booth Central, and we'll try to work them out as we kind of get those kinks with the audio figured out, Dave. Hmm. Well, it's been an interesting first half here, Dave, between Luis Cordova and Abraham Montillo. Luis has never beat Abraham in a tournament. Now he finds himself just 10 points from qualifying once again here on the Race for Eight Pro Tour. That would make four qualifying appearances for Luis Cordova, defeating an opponent in Idaho and then losing to Andy Nett. Now, you have to remember, he did not play at the U.S. Open in the singles, and he's kicking himself now because he decided to play doubles with his brother, which is a, at the time was a smart idea, but it's also could have given him some free points that could maybe even push him up into near that, that top eight if he were to play and had success at Simple Green. He shouldn't kick himself that hard because had he entered the U.S. Open, he would have been seeded 12th which means he would have played the number five seed, so he would have been playing either Nadia Alvarado or Dave Chapman or one of those guys. Maybe he could have won 
those matches. We're not sure, but he would have had to face one of the top guys in the sport to qualify and earn points in that stop. Now here in halftime, Dave, the players get a three minute break. It's three minutes at halftime and the players have really started to like this format. And as a fan, as I watch it, I love it. But as an executive director, you choose to use rally scoring. I vote against it. Abe's down. Mm. So just to make, just to be clear. Love it as a fan. But aren't you still a fan of the pros or you take a different role? When different it row, different row, role. Role. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm in a different row a when it row, comes to the okay. pros and yeah. a different role mm. as well. All right, gentlemen. The referee is Anthony Celesto. This is Abraham Montijo who gets the first serve. He was not serving at the break, but Eight that's serves. how halftime works. Just like football, you switch sides. Eight plays 15. Eight serves 15 here, going to 25, and you have to win by two. Montijo serving down the right to Cordova. We had multiple 30-plus shot rallies in that first half. And now you're seeing Point. Abe start off pretty good here, but he really needed this halftime more than I think Cordova did. It's good Nine body control there for Abe Montijo to set himself and kill that shot back down the right. And that's a nice left from Luis Cordova. Terrible shot in the right corner, and an even worse shot from Abraham Montijo. 15 plays nine. Both of these players like the use of the corners a lot. There's another inside out kill from. Luis Cordova, that really is a tennis shot, Dave, and I know nine. that you can now mark that off as your first <laughs> tennis reference. 29 minutes, that's all mm. it took. Well, I think there's inside out type of swings in a lot of different sports, not just tennis. Cordova wanted to fly that, but Abe put a little juice on that. It skipped off the front wall nine plays to the 16. right and became a two-wall pass, but it's kind of a different style. It's one of those balls that hop Inter on ball. the front wall. That was an unnecessary call, but I'm trying to think of another sport, Dave, where you would use an inside-out swing. Baseball. If you played baseball, you'd know the term. But I do. You're you fighting don't. off an inside pitch, inside and pitch you take and the you ball inside out. You take your hands and break them out. 16 Aru. plays nine. Hurling. <laughs> Montijo just throwing that ball up to the back wall. Another dive. Cordova's going to get it midcourt. Love that angle there. And a great left from Luis Cordova. That's the best left I've ever seen Luis Cordova seven. hit right there, Dave. Very smooth. Didn't stiff arm that left. He really let it go and whipped and extended on that beautiful shot. Cordova has 17. Montijo has nine. Scoreboard backwards. This is Abe Montijo's third qualifier final this season on the Rays for Eight Pro Tour, Dave. And thus far, he's come up short. Context. Losing to Desi Keegan in, in Idaho and then losing to Chip Morales 17 in Fresno. Score is 17 to 9, although it's wrong. It's actually the other way around. Montijo has 9 and Cordova has 17, but that's all right. Scoreboard powered by 17 Giants. 17 9. The official sports drink of the UFC and the official scoreboard of the WPH. Met with them in Vegas about about five days ago. Hmm. Very interesting conversation with them. They really love handball. 18 plays nine. 18 Thanks for nine. giving me a call. I was actually there at the time and could have hung out. Huh. But we don't do that, so. Would have been nice to see you. Would have been nice to have seen you at my wedding out there in Las Vegas, but I guess you were busy that day. 19 plays nine. I was accidentally scheduled for a luncheon. <laughs> Those luncheons are <laughs> they're important. And a terrible shot from Abe Montillo. And the, the air has been left. 29. The balloon has been popped from Abe Montillo. Just doesn't look confident at all. Doesn't look healthy. Well, he's not even moving now, and we mentioned this, Dave, as a, a potential Time out. problem for Abe. His conditioning it looks like his energy level is 
Rated Please about serve. zero. And I see you're already starting to etch. Actually, I just ended with the A with on my oh. etching. Okay. Luis Cordova will, what looks like, and it, according to my score card, has defeated Abraham Montijo for the Billy Gertz bracket, and he will be placed into the blind draw, the ceremony that will take place about 5.45 tonight, Mountain Time. We'll try to do that live right here on this broadcast. 30 seconds. Coming up next, it'll be Carlos Chavez and Chip Morales. Carlos barely got by local legend Gary Scoggin, and it was like Gary did not want to win that match. He was up 20 to 14. 21. Went to hit a ball into the left corner, hit it into the ground. Would have given him 21 to 14. Ends up losing the, the match 25 to 22. We'll talk about that and more. Yeah, we will talk at length about that dark match during Carlos's match, but it was an incredible comeback and an amazing place, collapse 21. from Gary Scoggin, who's one of the most consistent players in the sport. Carlos Chavez was down at one point 11 to 0, 12 to 2, nine. 14 to 4, and then he just started pecking away 15 to 6 at halftime. It wasn't as though Gary's level completely dropped when he built that big lead, but Carlos started playing a lot better. He started moving, he started making Nine a lot of gets, 21. put a lot of pressure on Gary, and then Carlos was able to get himself in position to hit some kill shots where he was so flat-footed in the beginning. Carlos telling me after that match that he was so tired after about six points, he didn't know what to do. Ten and place I think 21. that's, again, it, to do with the elevation. And Gary, this is his club, this is mm. his court. Kay. He knows how to play in these matches at this elevation. Nice pass from Luis Cordova. A. Montillo does not have the spring in his legs to run that 10. pass down as he did earlier. Those 40 shot rallies earlier in this match. The blonde bombshell just taking a call from his agent actually has a shoot tonight in down, downtown Salt Lake City. 22-10. Luis Cordova, double deuces on the scoreboard versus Abraham Montijo's Hold on, ball. You thought earlier that they would not be separated by more than five points. But all of a sudden, Cordova over. was winning those extended rallies, and it was Montijo that was wanting to call the timeout. Montijo takes a little soft left-handed kill front wall. Crowd not so Ten into place, it 22. right now but they were earlier with those 40 Short shot ball. rallies. I love this camera angle, Dave. Second serve. A lot of bright colors. This tournament brought to you by the Salt Lake City Aces, Ace Disposal, Duty Bail Bonds, the Utah Handball Association, and Ace Outdoors. And I know, Dave, you say it at almost every stop, but this is my favorite tournament. The guys are so happy to have us here. They're such a great group of guys, and it's a beautiful club here, Dave, here at the Sports Mall. I love it here. I, I put this right up there with that Jake Plummer. Hold on, tournament. hinder ball. Doing Very it over. similar since they're both family ran, and it seems like if you run a tournament and you have a family that does, close. you know, Too the close. administrative work, it always Eleven seems like 22. it's a little bit more fun environment because the family has a vested interest in trying to make sure everything's better for everyone. The RFC also a family tournament, but they're employees. They're actually paid to be there, the family. Well, the RFC is the exception to the rule. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nice Course. shot from. You appeal. This it was short. Short. Short serve. 22 plays 11. Second serve. Cordova just three points away from taking down Montijo here. But my problem is right here. And advancing. Because Abe's in my, Abe's in my <coughs> thing. Mm -hmm. Luis not keeping his feet turning there for that revolving door shot. Got caught facing the back wall 22. trying to swing. We will be watching Luis Cordova's younger brother and poster boy of handball, Daniel Cordova, next week, Dave, in Springfield, Missouri, as he'll be one of the top seeds, one of the top Americans in the collegiate nationals. Nice. So it's going to be a double... Cordova 
Fortnite. 12 plays 22. Time Fortnite out. Dave is two weeks. 13-22 and we resume. Abe serves. There is a timeout being called on the court. You're watching the WPH Simple Green race for eight, number six. Number seven will be coming up in mid-March at the Los Angeles Athletic Club where already the qualifiers are rolling in. This is going to be a huge one. We might even see 24 to 30 qualifiers. Try Could to we hear some of those names that are potentially rolling in? I don't even know who some of these players are. That's the thing. I've never heard of them before. Martin, Martin Gonzalez. Have, have you, you seen the name Shorty Ruiz? Ricky Ruiz. But have they entered? I, I don't know. I, I know no, that you're I on the not. inside. I thought maybe you knew something I didn't okay. know. But no, I, I haven't seen that name yet. But there are seconds. some players out there that have, that have entered. And uh, yeah, I've never heard of them before. So I have a feeling this could be a very big event. Now, John Bike, I've never heard of that name. Mm -hmm. He will also be in the qualifier. Okay. I just read that on the on the internet. Now, there's not going to be a, a tournament All right, guys, in conjunction here we go. with the LAAC race stop. This is just a qualifier and just the we top have 12. 13 plays 22. 13 to 22, Montijo in the box. Thought that was a smart timeout from Luis Cordova. Still led by nine points, but he sensed Abe picking up some momentum there, and he called the timeout. But Abe comes back 22. in and continues his scoring streak. Now three Short straight ball. points for Abe Montijo. I don't know why. They both agree. Short ball. Short ball. Yep. Abe's concerned about the short call it was actually a terrible serve second serve this is reminiscent of Abe's last qualifier final against Chip where he wow looked pretty good early ended up losing 25 13 to Chip did you see that shot that Cordova just made between 22. the legs he was fooled on that back wall it slid and so he took it between his legs and made it to the both front agree wall. Abraham Montijo seeing those balls second good. serve both line judges and the ref all disagree. You're going to see Abraham not give up here, Dave. Well, you're going to see Luis Cordova starting to feel the pressure. If Abe reaches about 18, and that's a big passing shot there from Luis Cordova. 22 plays 15. Luis would like to get in here and finish it out, but certainly at least score one and halt the momentum of a Abraham. Great get there from Luis. And you see Luis pushing A back. And a skip in from Cordova. That's the shot Luis wants. He had Abe off his feet with a perfect ceiling shot in the back left corner. Abe gave Luis a deep court setup, which... 15 plays 22. Luis usually converts, but that time didn't. Two, two bounces, Abe. Thank you. Luis did not let that ball drop. I didn't think he'd be able to put that shot away, but he did Abe, catch Abe the right that, crack. Right? Thought Abe was underneath that ball in one bounce, but he called a two bounce on himself. And that's a terrible error from Abraham Montijo. 23-15. And thus far, Dave, it's been every seed holding up here today. We thought we'd see some upsets with the depth of this draw, but thus far, the top eight seeds have advanced. Amazing backhanded diving get from Luis Cordova. Good volley, guys. Great rally Good there from both guys. Amazing effort. But now we're just one point from seeing our number one seed in the Billy Gertz bracket, who's the number two seed overall in this qualifier tournament. Your shirt. About to advance here, Dave, where he'll be 
thrown into that blind draw. 24-15 when we resume. You're watching the WPH Simple Green race for eight, number six in Salt Lake City, Utah at the Sports yeah, Mall, actually in Murray, Utah. Well, I need a shirt there. Where the too. Sports Mall is located, not too far away. I would say I that I you no. could just be about 30 seconds down the row and road and officially be in Salt Lake. My name is Dave Vincent alongside yeah, right. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, you David are. Fink for this match. It's but the very first I mean, broadcast yeah, match of the day, know. Luis Cordoba. Yeah, versus Abraham Montijo and Cordova's just a if point away from advancing to the Billy Gertz final. And he will get, like you said earlier, Dave, <coughs> placed into the blind draw. Abe, Coming check up your gloves while you're at it too if you're... Chip Morales and Carlos Chavez. That'll be at three o'clock Mountain Time to Pacific or five yep. o'clock Eastern. This could be one of those timeouts, Dave, that turns into three minutes with a shirt change and a glove change. This is what we've tried to avoid here on the tour. Yep. These kind of extended breaks. Possible game point serves 15. There's contact right there. Cordova's wanting that play to be called over. Abe said um, that was after the shot. Now Abe's in the box. 15 plays 24. Nice crack serve Good. right there from Abe Montijo and a fist pump from him at 16 to 24. 16, 24. Abe's going to have to get really hot here, Dave. Either that or short. get some points Peel. in bunches. That Ball Both was agree. short by six inches, and Abe is peeling it. Second serve. I don't know what he's seen, Dave. Well, sometimes you have that personal bias when you're in the server's box. You just think that every serve you hit is good. And another point for Abraham Montijo. 17 plays 24. Abe really has no room for error here. Luis Cordova needs to stay aggressive here. He's playing a little bit passively here. Like to see him take that shot out of the air and pinch the right corner on the fly kill. And that time he does go for the fly kill, but not the right moment. And Abe actually catches a bad bounce trying to hit the ball into the back wall, Dave. Back to the front wall, but he catches that same crease. 17. And it slowed the ball down. This could do it. And Luis Cordova in a great position there. Could have gone to the right corner, but the ball came into his body. So at the last second, he changed his shot, tried to kill the ball 17 plays down the 24. left, but missed it by about four inches. And that's a beautiful flat kill from Luis Cordova right in front of Abraham on the revolving door. 24-17. And here's another attempt for Cordova to win this match. Montijo goes down to the corner. Cordova unable to flip it with the backhand. <laughs> 17 plays 24. Both these guys, Dave, should be looking for the fly kill and the return of serve more than they do. 24-17. These guys give up very weak returns with their left hand the majority of the time. And here's another weak return. And a strange bounce there, Great and Luis play, Cordova guys. will take the win. That's his first ever win against Abraham Montijo, and he's now our first, first qualifier, player. Dave. He'll be drawing for one of those five through eight guys yeah, that's it. at the conclusion you of our fourth play, qual you. qualifier match today. But certainly, nice. Luis Cordova is going to stay in that top ten and perhaps break in to that rarefied air of the top eight with a great showing here. And it looks like he's on track for that, and especially getting some of these early games in, Dave, will allow these guys to figure out this altitude. We're going to take a quick break at 3 o'clock Mountain Time, 2 Pacific, and uh, 5 o'clock Eastern Time. We'll have 
the next match, which would be a great one. Chip Morales and Carlos Chavez. We'll be back in just a bit for Dave Fink, Linda Manning, and Ben Garad. My name is Dave Vincent. We'll have more handball coming up right around the corner. Stick with us at racefor8.com. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school.